Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Brawl Productions, and today we're going to be going over how to render your videos in 1080p for YouTube out of Sony Vegas. This method will indeed create that little HD button so you can watch your videos in a bigger, higher quality through YouTube. Now, let's get started. Here I am in Sony Vegas, got this cool little clip I have of a uh, sunset time lapse. And first thing we're going to do is go to the system or the the project properties which is this little button with the uh, cursor on it uh, around the uh, video preview and essentially you want these to all match up with your original footage and how you filmed it in my case we're gonna put it in HD 1080 60i which is basically 30 frames a second and uh, is interlaced but we don't want to interlace because my footage is originally in uh, is, is de-interlace and has progressive scan um, so we're going to click that which uh, if you're curious on the difference between the I and P after the frame rate in the templates you can type in uh, interlaced versus progressive on Google and your dreams will come true but essentially you want to keep everything on progressive um, or at least de-interlaced um, because that's the best result. Interlaced is an older method compared to progressive, which is newer and better, and uh, and it'll just make your videos look a lot better. Interlaced is no fun. And then we'll click OK. And then, you know, this is where you edit your video, blah, blah, blah. Get it all done. Whoopee! I'm done with my video. So now we're going to go to File, Render As. Um, in my old tutorial, I used um, a dot .mp4 as my as my format but this time we're gonna save it in a Windows Media Video WMV format we'll click that and this template already provided tends to work out the best at a 8 megabits uh, per second HD 1080 30p video so we'll click that we'll click custom and audio is fine default but on video on the mode we're gonna click quality VBR. Now the difference in this is that CBR is constant bitrate compared to quality VBR which is very variable bitrate and constant bitrate what it does and why I don't like it as much is it keeps your bitrate which is essentially the quality of your video at a certain point the entire time compared to quality VBR which will look at your video see how complex it is and change the bitrate to match for the best output the only downside of using a variable bitrate compared to a constant bitrate is that your file size is going to be almost twice as big so if you run into a problem where your video exceeds the upload limit in size for YouTube go ahead switch to CBR it's really not going to make as much difference as I'm making it sound like it is but if you if you're able to, I would keep it on quality VBR and then obviously keep the quality on 100% because 100% is is awesome. It would, uh, you know, it's 100%. You get money. On image size, we're going to keep it on 1440 by 1080. This is what's called 1080 HD compared to 720 HD when 720 is 720 by 1080 so this is better and we like it and we're friends and we'll keep the pi the pixel aspect ratio at 1.333 uh, keep your your frame rate at 29.97 seconds um, and you know again keep your quality at 100 bitrate this should be fine if that's checked for internet LAN at 8 megabytes that's perfectly okay as well that's what we want uh, you can index the file if you care um, and then video rendering quality we will go to best that's how we live live the best lives in the happy lives and I don't know where I'm going with this so we'll go up to the once we're done which we are and we're ready to render we'll go ahead and go to this t the top where it originally says the template we chose we'll backspace on the keyboard and we'll type in YouTube HD or whatever you want um, to call it so you don't have to come back and change all these settings all you gotta do is click the template and you're ready to go and then you'll click the little save button and you should be good I already have a template ready and boom I'll click OK and save 
And that about wraps it up for how to render your HD videos in Sony Vegas. Um, again, this should provide the HD button when you upload this to YouTube. And that is always a great feeling to be in HD high definition. Well, that was kind of crazy. Okay. Um, I've had a lot of a lot of off points in this tutorial, but whatever. You know, the usual, please, 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 please give me some candy. Just kidding. Uh, please subscribe. So if, you, so if you should subscribe, I shall worship you. And we shall become the best of friends, thyest loyal viewer. Yeah, you. Okay, well, I have no idea where I'm going with this once again. Thanks, guys. Uh, everyone have a great day. Sincerely, Alex.